In this video, we're going to take a look at nesting in a little bit more detail. Here you can see I've created a carcass for a kitchen cabinet. And if you take a look over here at the model information, you can see that it's 4 metres by 2 metres, the sheet that I'm using. And I want to nest all of these parts within the sheet. Now, if I open up the vectors, you can see that I've created four separate layers for this. And all of the parts within the carcass are assigned to these individual layers. So if I just take a look at one of the sections, you can see that the red is assigned to the outside vector layer. I have this line, which is a groove assigned to this layer. I also have various holes that are assigned to different layers. And what I want to do is to nest all of these, but I want to maintain these layers because what I want to do is to just assign toolpaths to specific vector layers. I don't want to go in and have to select each and every hole. I just want to select the layer and machine that specific layer. So what I'm going to do is select nesting and that will open up the nesting dialog box. Now, strongly suggest you take a look at the introductory nesting video if you haven't already seen it. I'm going to enter a tool diameter of 12, toolpath clearance of 10 and an edge clearance of 10. I'm going to allow part rotation but I only want the step angle to be 90 degrees because they're all rectangular objects. I just want them to be at 90 degrees so they all lie in line. Now, the whole point of this video is to show you about the grouping. So, what I'm going to do is select all of my vectors and I'm going to click Group Now. And you can see that this has grouped all of the vectors together. If I just take a look at this one, if I just click on this line, it selects the whole of this particular side. So, if I zoom back out, so you can see and what I'm going to do is just select all of the vectors and I'm going to select to create 10 parts so I want 10 carcasses and click nest now you can see that that's spread across multiple sheets because I'm on sheet 3 here so if I open up my sheets and I can go to sheet 2 so there you can see all of the sides there and one of the panels in the middle and then go to sheet one there you can see all of my parts there now if I want to machine this and assign it to specific layers what I need to do is to select all of the vectors and then right click on those and then click ungroup all and what this will do it will maintain the vector layers. So if I zoom back into this one here, you can see that I've still got these holes on a separate layer, the groove is on another layer, and then I can close the nesting. So what I'm going to do now is just show you this sheet number three. You can see that I've got lots of waste material here, and I could use this sheet again if I wish to. So what I'm going to do is to undo the nesting, open up my nesting again and I'm going to select all of those. This time I'm going to create a leftover material vector and I'm going to send it to the vector library. So if I click nest and I go back to sheet 1 you can see I have this black vector here this is showing me all of the waste that is left over so all of the leftover material now I'm not going to use that again so I'm not going to worry about that sheet 2 it's quite small I'm not going to worry about that either but sheet number 3 you can see it's quite a lot of material so I could take this material off the machine and save it for a later date when I want to put that back on there. Now when I do want to put that on there, let's say 
in a month's time and I create a new model which is going to be 2000 by 4000 I can open up my vector library which is here and if I come to the nesting waste library you can see that I've got all of those sections here and that was the one that I just used it's just letting me import this in as a DXF file so if I OK that and I can close there you can see it's given me the exact sizes of the sheet that was considered waste so I can use this again just making sure that I don't put any of the objects within here